Psych2Go is a digital media organization that raises mental health awareness by presenting psychological topics in a digestible and relatable manner. Please share our content with those who need it. It's a great way to show your support to us as well. A soulmate is not found. A soulmate is recognized. Veronica Tugaleva. Do you believe in soulmates? Have you met yours? Perhaps you're still questioning. In a previous video, we talked about signs someone could be your soulmate. In this one, we'll cover the signs that someone is not. One, you can't trust them fully. The best relationships are always built on trust. If you find yourself questioning your partner and doubting certain aspects of the relationship, you probably haven't found your soulmate yet. Two, you're always anxious around them. When you're with your soulmate, it seems like all of your worries simply melt away. Whatever stress or worries you're dealing with seem manageable with the support of your soulmate. All it takes is the thought of your soulmate and a warm feeling of comfort and joy washes over you. If you're feeling anxious, self-conscious, and worried when you're with your partner, something isn't quite right. Three, you imagine yourself with other people. Everyone's human, and we can't stop ourselves from noticing other attractive people, even when we're with our soulmates. But there's a difference between acknowledging the beauty of others and actually imagining ourselves in a relationship with those people. For soulmates, the thought of being with someone else never even enters their mind. They know they've met the only person who's right for them, and they'll never even consider other options. If you regularly find yourself wondering what it would be like to be with other people, then you probably haven't found your soulmate. Or, you can't seem to understand each other. Soulmates have an almost telepathic understanding of one another. They're your typical cheesy couple. They finish each other's sentences. They know each other's habits, including how they'll react to things. And they know the seemingly insignificant details about one another. Soulmates understand each other's emotions enough to know when it's time to talk and when it's time to just be comforting. If you just can't seem to connect or understand each other's motives and emotions, then you probably haven't found your soulmate yet. Five, you can't envision a clear future together. Can you imagine what it would feel like to grow old with your partner? What about having kids or moving into a house together? If these things seem like strange foreign concepts, then you might need to consider whether or not you've truly found your soulmate, especially if you've been together for a while. Soulmates work together as a team, and part of this is building a clear future together with common goals. Search the deepest recesses of your mind. If this seems like an unrealistic direction for your relationship, then your real soulmate is probably still out there somewhere. Six, instead of growing as a person, you feel yourself declining. One of the best things about finding your soulmate is the fact that they support your emotional, psychological, and even physical growth. They will encourage you to confront your fears, accept truths about yourself, and help you stand face to face with your deepest insecurities. It's no wonder why soulmates seem so attracted to each other. They understand that they make each other better. But what happens when you feel like you're not being challenged? Perhaps you've stopped exploring new and interesting territory in your relationship. If you find that your relationship has stagnated, your soulmate may still be out there waiting for you. Seven. You can feel it instinctively. At the end of the day, you don't actually need to think too hard in order to figure out whether you've met your soulmate or not. When you meet that special person, you just know on an instinctual level, you know that you're meant to be with that person. It's almost as if all the planets have aligned and everything feels perfect. If you don't have that deep feeling of confidence and faith in your partner, then you probably haven't met your soulmate. Do you agree with the points we've raised? What do you think happens when you meet your soulmate? Maybe you've already met your soulmate. Let us know about your experiences in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we have a video on signs you've found your soulmate, so don't forget to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.